Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work on some advanced word techniques. In this particular Word document, this is a newsletter with, and I just want to showcase some different tasks you can do on these newsletters. And at the first part, we have just some word art that says, Welcome to Microsoft Word. This newsletter also has a drop cap located right here. Uh, we have a vertical rule splitting between the two columns. And besides the fact that it is a two column newsletter, as are most newsletters. We also have a graphic in there and we have the text wrapping around the graphic. And at the bottom we have just a footer in there as well. And so let's start with a blank Word document and work toward building this. So let me go to File, New, Blank Document. And let's adjust some margins. I'm going to go into Page Layout tab and then click on margins go all the way down to custom margins and the top margin will work at 0.2 that's about as high as you can go and still have the printer take care of that bottom margin uh, 0.5 and left and right I'm okay at one inch for each of these the orientation should be portrait and say okay now let's put some word art in so we're going to insert word arts over here uh, toward the right click on word art you can pick the color you want and style a little bit and I'm just gonna pick a sage or olive green one here and the text box pop, pops up it says your text here that's where you're gonna just type in whatever you want to say so I'm just gonna say welcome to Microsoft Word and I want this centered and if I go to the home tab um, it is centered and if you, the best way to do it is to stretch your text box from edge to edge of your Word document. And all the way there. And then I'll click the center tool if I haven't already and make that center like that. Okay. I probably also want it, not Times New Roman. I like more of an Arial or a sans serif font because sans serif means no little tails on each character. And typically you use a sans serif style font for your titles. Now, at this point, I want to get my cursor down here. Now, my text box is going to follow it, but I'll push it right back up. So let me get down here a little bit, and then let me grab my text box, push it back up into place. That's fine. And my cursor's still down here now. Uh, the next thing I want to do is a section break. Um, I want to have this just one column at the top, but I want to transfer to two columns. So I'm going to go into uh, Page Layout, and go to breaks and then I'll find section breaks and then the best one for this purpose is continuous it's we're on one on the same page I want to convert from one column basically to two columns so I'll click on continuous of course then I must go to columns in in the same tab under page layout I want two columns to begin with now also I can go in here to columns and go all the way to the bottom and say more columns and no, I don't need more than two columns, but it just gives you extra possibilities here. So you can see two columns has already been selected. And if I want the vertical rule, which is that line in between the columns, I just need to check mark line between. And a couple of other things you may want to know here. Um, if you for some reason did not want equal column width for your columns, you could uncheck that. And then it gives you the power to change these settings with width and spacing here. So I, I want mine equal, so I'm going to check it back and say OK. Now initially you won't see the vertical rule come in because you haven't got any uh, words in or any text in column 1 or column 2. OK, so let's do take care of that. I have a real quick way to get lots of text on here real, real fast. So we'll put this formula in. Equals rand and parenthesis 4 comma 10 end of parentheses. And this will give us a couple of pages of instant text to work with. So, And then hit enter on your keyboard and there you go. Instant text. Because we're more about the formatting of this document than we are about the content of this document at this point. Now you can see the vertical rule has arrived. We've got two columns of text. Next thing I want to put in is a drop cap. So I'm going to just highlight the O, the first letter, and I'm going to go to insert tab and then look over here for drop cap and with drop cap you got some choices um, you can look at each one and see that's the dropped and that's the end margin one I like the dropped one better so I'm gonna click on that one and select it 
and you have some drop cap options as well here if you want to look at those it you know if you want to change the font to something different um, if you want it to drop less lines or more lines or distance from text so there's there's options yet so I'm happy with the one I got there so that's fine now um, I want to um, let me get the other border on here I want to change this I want this to be the same sage or olive green color that the uh, top part is so I'm gonna go up to home tab and I have a tool here called text effects and it looks like a blue a and click on that and you have some options and I can again pick that same color and style that I picked for the uh, title so I can click on that and it makes the O kind of shadowed and then it looks nice I think now I also want to put in a graphic over here so let's just let me go find a graphic insert picture and let me go find one I've got one down here I believe yeah it's a library clip art photo and I don't want it there I really want it over here somewhere so I'm gonna grab it and pull it over here I can get it over here but as you notice it won't allow any text beside the image and I'm gonna fix that the first thing I'm gonna do is click that make sure the image is activated and then I'm gonna go up to picture tools format and you'll see wrap text click on that option and the first thing just pick square to begin with and then I'll show you something else to do with it okay so we got it on square now when you pick square it now allows you to have text beside of it so you can you know make it a little smaller if you want you can pull it around to put it like more like there and but you notice it stays very squared off from from all that so um, and I may push it a little more like that okay now I can also do a little more trick a little more of a trick with this and that is once I've got it to square I can go back up to wrap text and say edit these wrap points I can make the words wrap very close around the bookcases and the rug and stuff so edit wrap points click on that and you can pull and push these little squares around however you need them uh, not even the squares you can actually pull in from here too and what I'm doing is just of course with you know if you have big words in here it's kinda hard to but you can pull and push and make that text wrap a little closer into um, the drawing or the clip art or the picture or whatever you might have and just keep working it and and I may just um, you know, change some text in here to get smaller words may not make a lot of sense right now but um, you know you have options obviously and pull go back to edit wrap points again since it didn't take that too good and I can and I can pull it over if I need to and uh, or I could put it right in the middle and make it wrap really close around it but that may give you some ideas on make your design look a little more tight around a certain drawing there okay I'll just put some smaller words in there and you may want to find just a certain part of your um, t content where you have smaller words going on but that gives you an idea now that one's a little too tight right there so let me edit wrap points again and maybe pull that back out a little bit more to make it back off a little bit okay so that gives you an idea of what you can do with that especially when you have a rounded area it looks very nice to do that now the um, other thing is um, we could also show you a control find maybe every time this starts over again with a new um, um, where it should have a paragraph thing I think your document is like the last part this thing just keeps repeat this content just keeps repeating itself so what I can do is a control F. Control F helps you find certain pieces of text and I'll say your document it'll show me everywhere in here that it says your document which will lead me in some cases to find the um, end of a paragraph since it keeps repeating itself but that's just a nice trick anytime you want to find just a certain um, part okay so let me that's the end of the paragraph I believe right there and not that you put a drop cap every time but um, we can at least um, find it again and let me see there's like another one there let me just make a new paragraph there 
give it an extra so extra line space will be fine. But that might show you another trick you might like using is Control F for finding certain bits of text within a document. Really works great for large documents. You can also use it on internet articles as well. All right, I think that um, shows quite a few things in a very short space of time. So I hope this helps you. Thank you.